Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC17 in Denver, Colorado, and today we're at the Red Hat booth with Dan. Always a pleasure, Rich. Always a pleasure. How you doing, man? Everything's oh, cool? Good, good to see you. It's been you six months well, since man. we talked, it but sure uh, I think, could you update me? What's going on with Red Hat and power, the yeah. power architecture? Sure, absolutely. So I believe uh, you've spoke with some of my colleagues about some of the announcements that we've done this week. Um, we we are, have, have embarked upon an alternative architecture, an emerging architecture path to enable uh, a lot of the HPC customers around the world that are exploring you know, things other than x86 architectures in their data center and have been working with IBM for quite a long time on little endian power processors um, and have recently announced uh, uh, enterprise grade support uh, for RHEL 7.4, calling RHEL for Power LE, parentheses, Power 9. Nine. Correct. Yeah. So we, we know Power 9's around the corner and there's some exciting supercomputers that uh, have been announced that are coming next year, aren't there? We announced uh, last week that we will have support for Power 9 Little Endian. Been working alongside IBM for the last three-ish, four-ish years um, to support their initiatives to bring Power 9 LE to market. Um, and in doing so, we are very lucky to be involved with uh, the Coral Project, uh, Summit and Sierra, uh, the two machines of the Department of Energy. Um, we're very thankful for uh, the engineering relationship that we have with IBM to bring RHEL to market. Now, what's interesting about this is that last year uh, when we spoke, we announced our, uh, our commitment to open HPC and to CCIX. Uh, what's very cool about the Power uh, 9LE announcement for RHEL 7.4 is that it also brings to bear the NVIDIA support. So when the big clusters are turned on uh, with these coral machines that uh, IBM is building, uh, we'll be able to facilitate a swift uh, and very, very capable interaction between the Power 9 machines and the uh, NVIDIA accelerators. It's just great to see how Red Hat is able to offer this consistent software stack across all these alternatives so that HPC people can get the best of breed. Absolutely. So. It's one of the things that we really, you know, it's part of our crown jewels, right, is that you know, our OEM certifications and our ISV certifications are the bread and butter of interoperability for this community. And that as the, the HPC community expands into alternative and emerging architectures, they still need and require the certifications to run their software stacks. And the Red Hat ISV certifications and our entire ecosystem of partners you know, substantiates their ability to be able to consume alternative physical architectures and ensure compliance and interoperability among their software tools. And that's part of our power, and that's you know, something that we're very much looking forward to continuing uh, with IBM and with NVIDIA and with Mellanox, Power9, and, and onwards.